I'm gonna go see Shane and we'll mill what I need to, to build this and it will be a lot more solid.
welcome back to camp. The weather's finally cleared and there's no snow or rain in the forecast. And the purpose of this trip is to get camp set up. I have stuff strewn about all over, firewood I want to get squared away and all of that. And the main thing is get the new wall tent set up. Now that I have the wood that I milled with Shane, I can tear this down and build a new platform and then get that wall tent set up. Well, we got a rain delay we're waiting on. Hopefully it lets up soon. We can get this done so we have a place to stay tonight.
Gracie. 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 Gracie, hold on. Gracie. Hey, hey. Gracie. Hang on. Gracie, Gracie, stop, 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 stop. Gracie, stop. Stop. Gracie, stop. Not the time. Not the time. Stop. Hey. Gracie, get out of my armpit. Gracie, get out of my armpit. Gracie, get out of my armpit. Hey, hold on, hold on. Did you just hold on a second? getting there I got the main structure established here now I'm just screwing down the deck boards and I think I have enough time to get the tent set up but I'm getting tired and slowing down <clears throat> but I realized that if I had gone higher with this I didn't want to go high just wanted it off the ground but I realized if I go a little higher then I can have some dry storage underneath which might come in handy so later on I might jack this up and put another block in which won't be a big deal these joists run the whole way especially um, but it's nice working with good materials for a change and I'm using screws for all of this because I'll be taking this apart reusing this material when when the cabin's up so if you have a gap like this that you want to close up and keep these nice and tight you can use your nail pick at an angle drive it in and just use it for leverage to close that gap and make sure you put in a couple screws when you do it so that it it holds that and doesn't spring back open but one of the things that I was taught I didn't know until someone showed me oh Gracie <laughs> this thing is solid. This is awesome. <laughs> We're going to be able to have dance parties out here, Gracie. Let's go get your tent.
Oh, I almost didn't make it. This thing is heavy. I love that. That's one of my favorite parts about being out here. The owls always talking to me. And I can hear the creek. I'm hearing the creek right now. I can't quite hear the river. It's quiet with the ducks and the birds and the wind and the trees. It's awesome out here. No traffic noise. Just me and Gracie and Owls. <laughs> what do you think, Gracie? I'm gonna need your help. I'm gonna need your help on this one, Grace. I know. Holy moly, Gracie. Step one. Flatten the floor cloth well on the ground and put the small ground nails into the holes to fix. Step two, put one slash one A, two, three slash three A, four, five in order and assemble the roof frame. I know, Gracie, yeah, I know. This would be a lot more fun if I had help, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just completely honest about that. Come here, get in here, come here, come here, get up in here. Moving in, come on pup, come here. Come here, come on. Life just got a lot better, come on. Oh yeah, Gracie, oh yeah. We'll get this all set up. Man, this thing's awesome. I guess I'm touching a tree branch. I've gotta get everything tuned up, dialed in, but the main, the main part's done. The wall tents up. This will be our. Uh, this will be our camp. While we're here this summer working on the cabin and everything, this is a huge upgrade from the tent that we've been using. This is windows, bug screens, uh, floor, way more space, and this is going to be really nice. Uh, Pretty thrilled right now. Pretty tired, pretty hungry. Major milestone though. Just in time. It's starting to rain again. I didn't think it was supposed to rain at all anymore, but it's just a war zone out here. Looks like a gypsy camp. I got stuff everywhere scattered. But we got this up. That was the main thing. 
I've got to hustle run around and pack up everything else so it doesn't get wet and I gotta make some food really uh, really glad to be at this point it's a big deal open and close that, it's pretty cool. Well, finished dinner, it's pretty late actually, it's almost 10 o'clock and the tent leaks, that's, it definitely leaks, not just from the skylight but other areas too and I knew I was taking a gamble with this um, it wasn't a very expensive tent as far as wall tents go and I thought if I could just get through the summer using it I didn't really care um, but it leaks quite a bit and I just don't have the time to take this all down try to send it back so I might just I'll get it staked out and everything and that might help but I might just throw a tarp over it and go through the summer like that I'll I am gonna contact the company and let them know they probably won't do anything about it, but I mean, that's, it's brand new. You saw me take it out of the box, set it up for the first time, and as soon as I got it set up, it started raining, and it leaked. So there's, I mean, what, what that, that didn't uh, survive first contact, for sure. Uh, but other than that, which is a big deal, I thought it was, I thought it was great. I thought it was a nice... Everything seemed quality, <clears throat> good size. I, I liked everything. Um, it's what it is. It's funny. I I bought this with my own money too, and this company has emailed me many times wanting to sponsor a video. You know, send me products, pay me to promote products, and I just. I, I don't want to do that stuff with my channel. It's just not, it's not me. You know, I only promote products that I'm willing to spend my own money on and things that I would recommend to a close friend or family. And, you know, something like this, I had to spend my own money on it and see if it was truly quality. And if you're hearing it from me, honest review, it, le it leaks. So, but I, I still need to get the wood stove set up in here. The, it's got a wall jack, uh, so I got to figure out how to pipe the chimney out that way. Or I got a roof jack that I was going to install so I could just have a straight pipe. But I don't know if I want to make another penetration in the roof. And deal with all of that. Um, but 
a little disappointing. Just, just can't win. Can't seem to get ahead here. We'll figure it out. Well, it was a rough night. I didn't get much sleep. Probably because eating that late right before I tried to go to bed is not a good thing. <clears throat> and what I've been thinking about is as much as I don't want to do this, I think I need to return this tent. The fact that it leaks is a deal breaker. It's a big deal. So I'm definitely going to contact the company and see if I can return this and get something else. It It's a nice size and everything. If it didn't leak, it'd be what I, what I was looking for. Um, but I just can't deal with that all summer long. It's, it's not the last time it's gonna rain, so. I think I will do that. I'll leave it up for now and until I determine that I can return it. And then this morning, the sun's out. Should be drying everything up. I'm gonna get the plywood back on the old cabin. Just get all this firewood stacked up. Get all the lumber back in the cabin. Get everything just organized around here. It's just a mess and I can't stand it. So that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Better get to work. We just finished dinner and we're about to head out of here. <clears throat> the day kind of got away from us. I did get a lot done. Uh, let me show you what I did. I kind of focused on this area, getting everything cleaned up from here. I have some lumber. These are some big pine slabs that I'm going to use for benches or outdoor kitchen kind of deal. I still have a pile of stuff I need to sort through and get rid of. I got a decent stack of firewood. I took care of all the wood that was around here. Still have these logs, <clears throat> which I'll get to at some point. Try to mill those into slabs. The lumber I got stored in here, everything just kind of organized for now. My tires are drying out. There's some water in them and I'll need to swap those out soon. This is all looking good. I got everything reorganized around the outhouse, the concrete blocks and everything. The tent itself, so I got the firewood stacked underneath where it will be dry. And I didn't do much with the tent because the issues I had last night with it leaking right off the bat, right out of the gate, um, really 
bother me. That's just unacceptable. And it may need to be seam sealed, but it should have come seam sealed. And I saw nothing in the literature that said where, where it mentioned that. So I'm going to contact this company and this is going back, which <laughs> a lot of work to set this up. And I'm not looking forward to having to tear this all down, trying to, to repackage it. But for the money I spent on it, that's just unacceptable. I need something that's not going to leak the first time I use it. So I'm going to send it back. Let me know what, what your recommendations are as far as wall tents. I need something to set up here to use throughout the summer and the build process on the cabin. So let me know what you think. I'm looking for recommendations now. And another stack of firewood. So I had the Jackery plugged in to the solar panels. It only It's only on one. It can only take a maximum input of 100 watts via solar. So it's on one panel and it went from, it took it from zero to 35%, which um, I don't really know how to judge that. It was a nice sunny day. I don't know if I had it at the optimal angle or orientation or anything, but 35% in a day, you know, arguably if it could run all three, you know, it could have doubled or tripled the input and had more. So I'm not worried about that right now. I'm coming and going so I can just charge the, the Jackery as I, as I go and bring it back topped off and that sort of thing. But we uh, we got to go do some stuff, and we'll be back. I'm not really going to say much about the cabin situation right now, but I'm sort of on hold with that at the moment. I'm working through that, and in the meantime, there's still a lot of work to do. So we'll be back, and we'll see you then.